Apart from welcoming Malala here, we're also going to be welcoming her father. Her father uh, is an extraordinary uh, man in himself. Uh, he has been the person in Malala's life who has said yes, giving her permission, approval, support, encouragement, and a father's embrace to become the young woman, the beautiful young woman that she's become in the world. And so I asked him before, in fact, so how would you have us introduce you, my good friend? And he said, well, I'm just a teacher. Well, for those of you who are from uh, this great country, I don't think there is such a thing as just a teacher. Teachers shape our lives. They make futures possible for us all. And having been taught by teachers in small country schools in rural Australia, they make a difference for all of us, whether it's in Swat Valley or in the Appalachians or where I came from in rural Australia. One other thing about this remarkable man is that despite, despite the cultural inheritance, despite the entrenched prejudices against young girls and young women, he chose to be different. He chose to open the doors for his wonderful young daughter and say yes to education, to say yes to you can be whatever you want in the world and to be for her the constant voice of encouragement. And why is that important? Young women like Malala change the world. Women like her across the world change the future. Myself, I'm the son of a strong mother. I am the husband of a strong woman. I grew up virtually without a father and raised also by a strong woman who is my sister. I'm proud to be the father of a very strong woman, my daughter, who's just given birth to a strong little girl. <laughs> so guys, So to the men of the world, I just say to this, say this, get ready guys. <laughs> the world's a changing place, but changing for the better because we have young women like Malala and her dad.